Hey everybody, Brad here with another Masterworks 3 video. Um, this video I'm going to talk about how to change your background uh, on your on your design field here uh, and why you might want to change your background. Um, the default is just a white background. Um, so behind my grid is just white and that's fine unless I'm digitizing something white uh, in which case it makes it really difficult to see what I'm doing. Um, so just for an example, I'm going to bring up, um, let's see, you might make something, you might make a white snowflake. So we'll grab a snowflake from my custom shapes and uh, I'm going to make it white and apply a running stitch to it. And here, without having it selected, you can see it's nearly impossible to see where it is. Um, if I left click on it, I can see the selection box around it. Um, if I go to my reform tool, I can see all my points and everything, but when I'm just looking at it, it's very difficult to actually see where it is. So how can I fix that? If I go up to this tool right here, the background tool, left click on it, I have two options, select color and select fabric. First I'm going to talk about select color. If I left click on select color, this little menu comes up, I've got all of these different colors I can choose from. What I like to use is this gray right here, because you don't see a lot of designs that are mostly this color, at least I don't. Um, and of course, you know, if you have a design that is, you can just change the color to something else. But I left click on this, choose OK, and look, now it's much easier to see my snowflake. Um, so generally, um, when I'm actually digitizing, I leave my, my background this gray color all the time. Um, you know, you can pick whatever color you want to pick uh, as your background. I, I find that this one's not too distracting. It doesn't get in the way. Um, so, you know, you pick whatever color you want. Um, so, also, under this background tool, we have Select Fabric. And what this will let you do is choose a fabric to be the background. So it has a bunch that are built in. If you left click on this, it'll take you to the default folder, um, which is a folder called Fabric in your Masterworks 3 directory on your computer um, that has these different basic fabric types. So uh, you just pick one. Let's see, maybe we're, you know, these are all really ugly. I guess that's neither here nor there. They are just kind of samples, but I guess maybe I'm sewing on a burlap sack yeah so that's why you have the option to scan in your own fabric so what you can do is actually scan in the material that you're gonna that you're gonna use on your scanner that I can't tell you how to do uh, because it's gonna depend on what brand scanner you have and what the scanner software is or whatever so go read your manual on your scanner find out how to scan something in and then save that picture just put it right in that folder with all the other ones um, which is in well yours is probably gonna be C Drive program files, baby lock, masterworks 3, fabric. That's where it's stored. But of course you could save it anywhere and and just go find it uh, later. But here we go. C drive, program files x86, baby lock, masterworks 3, fabric. That's the default folder for these. So, um, you know, you can save them there. That way it's with all these other ugly ones here. Uh, but that way you can preview what your design is going to look like on the actual fabric that you're going to use. Um, as the background. So that could be useful. So you could see whether your colors are going to clash or, or uh, you know, whatever. Um, as you can see, there's another folder in this folder uh, called applique. And these are fabric. They're just, they're more fabric fabrics that have been scanned in. Um, but these are specifically the fabrics that you can choose for previewing what your applique fabric is going to look like. Uh, and the way you get to that, um, let me just change my background back to, uh, I'll change it back to gray here. Uh, if, I, if I change this from a run, which I set it to originally as a run stitch, if I change this to an applique by going up to apply stitches and applique, I can actually preview what it's going to look like with an applique fabric. Look over in your properties menu under the applique tab here. Uh, if I set applique fabric, these are the different fabrics that are in that folder. And if you add more in there, they will show up in this list. So to add more in there, you scan your fabric that you want to applique with. And say we scanned in this fabric here. 
and hit apply look it previews what it's going to look like with my fabric in there so you can scan in your fabric that you're going to use as an applique and see what it's going to look like um, before you actually go and sew it out to see if um, you know that fabric looks nice as an applique um, so that was it that was a quick video just something I thought of while I was goofing around in the last video I was like oh you know what I never talked about the background thing so here it is alright well enjoy and I'll see you in the next video